So in this section here, what I did is we had the straps and stuff coming uh, through the concrete, and I had the, uh, the beams, uh, these uh, spacer beams actually going this direction. I said to change them so I could actually tie those in. Um, and then I tied uh, these beams into this beam, and then I've actually got, uh, on the other side, you can see where I've got, okay, right here you can see where I've tied the uh, base to this beam. So concrete tied to the base, base tied to the beam, beams tied to the joists. Okay, let me show you what we've uh, or I've actually gotten accomplished today. So I got all the joists and stuff put in. I put the center braces, um, and this time instead of making measuring center braces from center to center, I decided to measure from the edge and make sure that this spacing was the same in the center and forced the center pieces to uh, match that. And it actually looked a heck of a lot straighter in the first round that we did over there. So. Um, Anyway, let's, let's take a look. Just go ahead and walk down this row sideways and show it. Okay, and uh, now we're ready to go ahead and get decking installed. Um, very excited about that. Seems like the progress is really moving forward. Thanks to Jim for helping out this, uh, a lot on the comments there. Appreciate that. And uh, I think what I'll do um, on that uh, east wall is probably cut the top header piece back about three feet or so, pull that off, and then just put a larger beam up there. Um, that way uh, we've got the span that's at a minimum of four feet from each of those joints. Here, let me see that. 
I need that noise. And uh, they're coming along, so I'm going to go ahead and start working on decking now. <laughs> 